Hello, Taylor. Hey, Drew. Hello. We're going to wait until five after. I don't know if you could hear me. I think I was muted. We'll get started at five after. Hi uh, again, Brian and other folks. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Taylor. Hi, everyone. All right.
All right, y'all. Welcome to the Cloud Native Network Function Working Group. I'm going to post the meeting notes in the chat. Hi, Ian. Morning. can add your name to the meeting notes, we appreciate it. Does anyone have any topics they'd like to discuss? Otherwise, I'll just jump into our pull request. All right, I'm not hearing anything. I'm going to jump in. Um, let's see. I don't, yep, we don't have Jeffrey on the call. So I'm going to wait on air gap. He said last call he was going to work on it. Ian, um, should I open the compliance? I'm going to talk about that. Did you have time to go through the latest? No, uh, it just needs me to work through the comments, and I haven't done it in the last week. So I don't think there's anything to discuss there. All right. Um, maybe to let Brian, I think this might be your first time on this call. Is that correct? Oh, that's correct. Yes, that's the first right. time. <laughs> not me. Not the least. I, I seem to have got lost on which calls I needed to be on. But anyway, that's yeah, that's no my problem. Moment. So um, you take a look if you feel like it on the notes. We actually have um, these recordings. If, if y'all didn't hear it, every one of these calls are being recorded and they eventually make it up on the CNCF YouTube. So there's past recordings there. And eventually these notes will probably get rotated and then we'll link. The Telcom user group has older notes as well. <clears throat> and the most of the content, if it's not in the meeting notes, it's going to be in the GitHub itself, and the areas are going to be use cases and user stories. There's a lot of context there. We're trying to put best practices that are going under here. And there's also a forum, discussion forum, where you can see a lot of different topics here where there's things going on. And when new content's coming in, we'll get a pull request and we will <clears throat> discuss the different comments, try to come down to some type of consensus or at least a someone's views has been expressed before it moves through and we've had enough thumbs up or plus ones to move it through. And let's see. <clears throat> so the Jeffrey Salins, he was at Charter Communications. He's now at Dell. Um, so he's just putting in something about air gapped environments, context for what that is about. Ian's been working on one for recording your compliance to the best practices. So if you're not following it, maybe there's a security best practice and you're saying there's a application or component that for some reason can't follow a best practice like not running as root or having privileges disabled. You wanna make sure that it's recorded and communicated so that the ones consuming and using the application and service providers like Vodafone where you are will know and can handle that. So that's the idea around that practice. Um, and you can feel free to come read and look at the comments, go look at the different uh, content in here about the best practice itself. Uh, let's see. So another one here, 
and we may not have been on this call, so I'm not sure if this has been handled. This is a best practice around, um, it's not giving me the other view. Maybe it's on this one. Oh, there we go. So best practices on <clears throat> related to the Kubernetes API for, this is a security related best practice actually. <clears throat> so anonymous requests, audit logging, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, this one is one, I would say it's more of a work in progress. I think that the person working on this, Ben, he's uh, going to be moving it over to the, it was in the wrong area of the, of the um, repo. But the other part would be some pieces that you would see on, oops, um, some of the other practices. I'm going to go back here for a second, but um, yeah, I'm only seeing one. So I don't think this best practice is one to, that we can do much about right now. If Ben hasn't made the updates, but eventually we'll have something like, uh, let's do this one, no root. So we have motivation, the goals of the best practice. So this one's about not running processes as root, <clears> to <throat> run them as non-root user, non-privileged users, go over the proposal why this is a good idea, have some type of context, user stories, use cases that relate it. This actually goes to a whole set of user stories, supply chain attacks, which you might be interested in since you're doing security over at Vodafone. We talk about different issues and how having not uh, not allowing root users can be a positive for those. And then problems or caveats that you could see if, if you follow this. And then a whole set of references on why it's a, you know, why we're putting this forward as a best practices. And if, if there is alternatives or anything like that. So that's the idea eventually with all of these is to have a lot of context and information for people that are wanting to adopt and implement these practices. So, it looks like we don't have anything that we can move forward with progress on the current pull request because they need some work based on the last feedback. Is there any other, does anyone want to have a, have anything to discuss or want to look at anything? Or Brian, if you have any comments, questions. Um, at the moment, just feeling my way around. Oliver, you have anything? Not, um, nothing specific, Taylor. I, I think one of the things is just, um, I know we have use cases and we have some user stories around for the stateful CNFs. Um, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. I'm not sure. Um, if we, uh, you know, how we kick off some of the, the best practice work. So for example, you know, based on any of the user stories and use cases that, you know, that may have been submitted, um, I'd like to take a shot at doing some of them for stateful CNFs, but not sure exactly how to, you know, how to progress that if it's just to do it and then we have a discussion or if there's anyone else who may be interested in participating together on that. Yeah, if, if you have um, some idea of, of one or two or whatever that you 
have a good grasp on this would be you think it'd be a good one i would just start writing it up and however that's most comfortable if you want to do it in a google doc or a hackmd fine if you want to write it and just do a initial pull request you can always mark a pull request as draft but bring it up for discussion so this one isn't marked as draft but um we could always, uh, wherever that is, I think maybe at the top. Huh. Anyways, when you're putting in the pull request, you can mark it as a draft. You don't have to put it as a draft because it's not going to be accepted. Putting it as draft would just be more communicating. Uh, actually, putting it as a draft will not allow it to be merged. <laughs> so you want to make sure. But where to get started would be what you think you can talk about that you feel like you have enough information and then wherever you would want to work on it as far as in here if you look at what ben did these are more of the high level this is more of, in my mind the proposal and summary section of the best practice which is fine it's a good start now we need to fill in other pieces that we think are necessary before we move forward. You could start like that, or you could go with, oh, I'm in the wrong area, let me go back. You could always copy like this, not uh, no rooting containers, and then start filling in each of the pieces. And I believe Ian said last time, we we'll probably want to make some adjustments on what's required before we're going to let it through we don't think everything in here now is as relevant but it's i i'd say if i was going to point it out the summary and motivation goals are important non-goals usually but you'd probably be intuitive on whether that's important the proposal of course would be important and then the context, well, you already have the user stories. So uh, we have those in there. We could just put links to existing user stories. So I think you're good to go there. Trade-offs and constraints, probably important, but doesn't have to start, could be empty. I think references are very important when we're talking about these, but it doesn't have to be as extensive. This one we've even added to this particular one, I think, a month or six weeks ago um, so we keep adding to it which is totally fine so you have a few choices but i would say just get started and then if you have something that's out there and you can say here's my first version of a best practice or a set of best practices and you can show people you may have a few other people that say oh i'm interested let me help Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Taylor. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, does anyone else have anything? I want to add this um, for Brian, since you're involved on the security. We haven't put forward a bunch of new best practices, but we'd like to. Uh, we have a whole set of notes and content around least privilege. And you may be interested in this, Brian. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so exceptions. So this this one is not really specific to least privilege. Uh, I think we were just putting notes in here, Ian and I, but we probably it, it's applicable anywhere. Best practice right up. But if I scroll down, 
why do we want least privilege? So there's this whole content about why that's important and then where it could potentially affect some examples and other things. And then we actually start talking about uh, behavior and stuff eventually. Uh, each application, don't run containers. These are different potential practices. Don't run containers with privilege true. Talking about mounting host directories, what can happen with those sort of things. So there's a whole set of things in here uh, that you may be interested in. We have stuff in the just the discussion forum, which I was mentioning mm -hmm. earlier. And then there's the the user stories and use cases would be another area that I would check out. And those might be useful in and of themselves. And maybe you'll see some areas where you want to come back and talk with us about. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is kind of heating up in Vodafone as it is. Um, one of the, the objectives is to try and uh, work out how we uh, align our own internal organizational model as well. All right. Hopefully, hopefully Tom's a bit more on the on the ball on that one. So I'm I'm kind of getting uh, pulled into it. I I come more from the network side than I do from the Kubernetes side. Is there anything else that folks would like to talk about? All right, well, give you the rest of your hour back. Do with as you please. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you, Sarah. Have a good one.